Om Shanti. Today is 26 December 2021 and we shall listen to the Avyakta versions of Avyakta Bap Dada. These Avyakta versions were spoken by Bap Dada on 17th December 1989. The title for today's Murli is How to be Constantly Powerful. Today the powerful father is seeing his master powerful children from all four directions. One are those who are always powerful and the other are those who are sometimes powerful and at times become attracted to waste even against their desire. So Baba is looking at two types of children one are those who are always powerful and the second are those who are sometimes powerful and at times they become attracted to waste even against their desire. Where there is a powerful stage, there cannot be waste. Waste thoughts cannot even emerge. Bab Dada saw that some children still complain to the father. And what is their complaint? That their waste thoughts sometimes change their remembrance into complaints. Huh? Baba is rhyming the word Yad and Faryad. Yad means remembrance and Faryad means complaints. So Baba says, Bab Dada saw that some children still, still complain to the father that their waste thoughts sometimes change their remembrance into complaints that they do not want those thoughts to come that they do not want those thoughts to come but that they do come those thoughts do come and what is the reason for it the majority has finished the stage of vicious thoughts for the majority of time so there is no viciousness anymore, but still there is waste. However, you have not fully passed in not looking at waste, not listening to waste, not thinking about waste, and of not wasting time. So the first reason Baba said why we get attracted to waste thoughts, it is because looking at waste listening to waste, thinking about waste and wasting time. So this is why there are still waste thoughts. Secondly, Baba says, it is because you do not set a program for your minds and intellects to be in a powerful stage. From Amrit Vela, throughout the whole day's timetable, that you become upset. Baba says, it is because you do not set a program for your minds and intellects to be in a powerful stage from Amrit Vela throughout the whole day's timetable. That is why you become upset. Baba gives an example. For instance, just as you make a program for physical tasks, according to your daily timetables. In the same way, if you set your program for a powerful stage of your minds, you will automatically never become upset. So Baba says, we have to make a program, a timetable for the mind to be in a powerful stage. And if we successfully do that, then the mind will never become upset. The busier you keep your minds with powerful thoughts, the more your minds will not find the time to become upset. So if the mind is busy according to the timetable program in powerful thoughts, then the mind can never become upset. Ba Baba gives a second example. In today's world, the greater someone's position is, 
the greater the IP or VIP, the more he will set his activities according to his daily timetable. So who are you? They are VIPs, but in the context of your being the children of God, in the context of your Brahmin lives, compared to the world outside, no matter how many V's are put for you, they are not enough because the world is transformed on the basis of you. Huh? Baba is not just saying this to make us feel happy that you can have so many V's against your name. Baba says no. Baba gives the reason for it and the reason is because the world is transformed on the basis of you. You are the images of support for the renewal of the world. In the unlimited drama, you are hero actors and you are the ones with lives as valuable as a diamond. So how great are you? You are the basis of the world's transformation. You are the images of support for the renewal of the world. In this unlimited drama, you are the hero actors and you are the ones with lives as valuable as a dime. So how great are you? This pure intoxication makes you powerful, whereas intoxication based on body consciousness brings soul down. You have soul conscious spiritual intoxication and this is why it doesn't bring you down. It constantly takes you into an elevated flying stage. So if we have this intoxication, how great we are, then we can never come down but we'll always be in an elevated flying stage. Baba says it is body consciousness that brings you down. So the reason why you are attracted to waste is that you do not set a timetable for your minds and intellect. The first reason, we still have the habit of seeing waste, hearing waste, huh? looking at waste and wasting time. The second is, Baba says, you are attracted to waste because you do not set a timetable for your minds and intellect. You do not constantly and fully use the art of keeping your minds busy. Secondly, then Baba has another reason why we have waste thoughts. Bab Dada has given you Srimad, that is, instructions about everything your mind, words, actions, relationships, and connections and told you how to act and live from Amrit Villa until night time. Baba has given us Srimad for each and every action from Amrit Villa till night time. Acha, to the constantly powerful souls in all four directions, to the obedient children who remain obedient at every step, to the world transformer souls who transform anything wasteful into something powerful, to the artist children who paint the paintings of their own activities, love, remembrance and namaste from powerful Bap Dada. Bap Dada's blessing for us children today is, may you keep yourself busy in both ways, physically and in a subtle way and become a victorious conqueror of Maya. I repeat, may you keep yourself busy in both ways, physically and in a subtle way and become victorious conqueror of Maya. Consider yourself to be a server and keep yourself busy doing service with interest and enthusiasm and Maya will not then take a chance. When you are free in your mind, in your intellect, or in your physical actions, 
Maya takes a chance. However, keep yourself happily busy doing service in both ways, physically and in a subtle way. And because of your happiness, Maya will not have the courage to oppose you. Baba says, however, keep yourself happily busy doing service in both ways, physically and in a subtle way. And because of your happiness, Maya will not have the courage to oppose you. So be your own teacher and create a daily program to keep your intellect busy and you will then become a victorious conqueror of Maya. Today's slogan is, keep the faith and intoxication. Baba is with me. And Maya will not then be able to come close to you. Say with faith and intoxication, Baba is with me. And Maya will not then be able to come close to you. Acha Om Shanti.